These are real, verified images of publicly identified victims of the attack at Manchester Arena. These, posted online, turned out to be fake. Hoaxes involving images of people who had no involvement in the events of Monday night. One Twitter user, for example, posted this photo, claiming his son was in the arena and not answering phone calls. It got around 20,000 retweets. Turns out, the picture was of an unmissing YouTube personality. As the world watched the mayhem in Manchester unfold, with parents desperately seeking information on their missing children, the social media universe sprung into action. Some people wanted to help, offering rooms and rides to people unable to get home from the arena. Others, mostly anonymous individuals, contributed to the chaos, intentionally disseminating falsehoods. It's not a new phenomenon in the wake of tragedies, cruel hoaxes, and people masquerading as victims of tragedy, typically for no apparent reason. But as Manchester demonstrates, it's never been easier to ignite a false information wildfire. However misleading they may be, these examples don't constitute so-called fake news. That typically takes the form of articles designed to look like real news, but are untrue and manufactured to go viral in service of political or other aims. But experts say there are no quick and easy pointers for individuals when it comes to social media hoaxes perpetrated in the fog of breaking news. What you can do is follow the verified Twitter accounts, that's what the blue circle indicates, of local authorities and reputable news sources. As standard practice, professional journalists carefully vet social content before publishing or airing it on television. That helps ensure the audiences that trust them are not misled. Loads of chaos and everyone was scared and screaming. This Periscope video, for example, was checked out by Storyful, a company that helps vet social content for news organizations before certifying it as legit. Storyful says it looked at the buildings behind the young man, compared the consistency of his information to that of other victims, and spoke with him by phone. And I, I just hope she's okay, like, as soon as it... In the moment, emotions, captured like never before, offer a human connection to unspeakable tragedy when they're real. That's the short answer.